Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Just one last one about the challenge for unarmed weapons. Um, so I'm doing this on my other character and just a couple things that I've kind of learnt that might help you out if you guys are trying to do this. Um, so destroy robots with um, a gauntlet or unarmed. You have to have some sort of weapon, uh, some sort of gauntlet. Um, what I've chosen to go with is the unstoppable monster, which you could get, you probably have, most of you would have, uh, you get it with uh, daily ops uh, as a reward. Um, this is sort of like a bloodied weapon, so the lower your, your health, the, the higher the damage, right? Um, so make sure that it is repaired and fully um, fully repaired uh, up, to, up to the max. Uh, you'll notice my damage is 256 at the moment. I don't have any armor or anything special, I don't think. I have some damage cards. Let's just go into those quickly. So these are kind of the damage cards that I have. Um, so it is it is a melee weapon. So if you have a melee build specific for melee, uh, you can probably get more a lot more damage than that. But 256 isn't bad. Uh, notice when I join a team... Uh, let me join a team here quick. My my health jumps up to my the damage jumps up to two eighty eight. You'll notice uh, as as my health goes down, it'll get a little bit more. Right. Um, like I said, come to White Springs if you're trying to get get this uh, challenge done. Let me show you a few tricks here that I've I've kind of figured out. Uh, if you come down to this door, um, enter this door. So if you die. At this door, you will respawn at this door. If you, you go into the top door, you'll respawn at that door. Just kind of bear that in mind. I like this area, yeah, just because you don't get overwhelmed as much. Because uh, I'm not having, I don't have any armor at the moment. Uh, if you have some some armor, troubleshoot armor, that uh, you'll probably do better at the top door, right? So I've got no armor. I'm just, uh, and, and I do pretty well, yeah, right, in this area, regardless that I don't have any armor, right? So let's go ahead, yeah. And uh, the robot, there are some robots. So a robot will spawn, a proton, a protecton will spawn out of this guy, yeah. You can grab some robots in the front, yeah. But let me, let me show you what happens, yeah, before I end this challenge. So what I do is I sort of tag, take out the whatever robots show up here, yeah, they'll come down the steps. Uh, I mentioned in my earlier video just to kind of stick in this area, but I found it's been it's more efficient if you actually run up the stairs. And let me show you quickly what I mean by that. You can actually take out some assault trons and fight them on the steps. So if you are struggling with these robots in White Springs, uh, run up these steps. Uh, it's it's kind of almost like an area where you can kind of confuse them a little bit. And you can actually fight on these steps and use these steps as sort of a, a safeguard. Like especially for these assault ones that will take you out pretty quick. You, if you can trick them to come up to the top of the stairs, you can take them before they can actually... So you're just trying to stand there. They, they're pretty savvy in terms of, uh, you know, knowing that you want to take them out. So they, they stand by the door there, right? But he will come there eventually, and then you can actually take him out of the stuff. See how he backs up there, right? He's pretty tricky there, right? So you can actually use these steps as sort of like a fighting area. So what I do is I just run up and up and down the steps, uh, back and forth. And if you can convince the, the soldier to come to the top of the steps, you can take him out and he, he doesn't get a chance to actually uh, fire at you if he's at the top of the steps here, right? I'll see if I can trick him to do that. And then I just sort of run down the steps. Um, there's this guy will come out of this uh, projector will come out here at the bottom. You can take them out. Oh, they, what, once he comes down there at the bottom, yeah, he, he generally will take me out. But if he's on the steps, then I can easily kill him without him sh shooting me. Or tag, try and tag me. So he's right here. So if he's on the steps, he's not as dangerous. And he can't actually, in most times, get get a, a shot off. In that case, he did. But 
So at most times if he's kind of at the top of the steps, um, he's kind of trying to get aim at you, but he can't actually tag you in most cases, right? And you can take him out. If he's at the bottom, yeah, he, you, you kind of want to get him up on the steps or just wait for him to kind of go up at the stops. Oh, there he is. Okay, so I've actually finished that challenge, which took me, this was the most tedious challenge, this arm, uh, unarmed weapon challenge is, is just the worst. It's just that you have to kind of just keep on going up. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you kind of run around this area, if there's not an assault run, you can kind of, there is a, a there's a laser guard in the corner there that, that can damage you, but if you run around, he doesn't get enough time to actually sort of focus on you. You can actually run into this room here as well. They kind of spawn in this room and take a few routes. Yeah, there's a laser in that room as well. So just kind of be aware of that. And then what I do is I just run back to the steps here, right? Uh, if I, my health is down and wait for them to actually come to the door and you can actually fight them at the door, yeah. So this is kind of an, a neat sort of... Oh, try to... Beat him there, but he got me. I'll show you what I mean if I can get uh, an assault on the top of the steps, yeah. Anyway, just run up and down this. If you're trying to do this challenge, just run up. Even for some maybe that some of the other challenges, the the robot challenges, you could probably use this area as a sort of little fighting ground. Um, you know, run up and down. If you are finding the main door is um, is actually overwhelming you, it's kind of a turret over there. But you know, they don't do a lot of damage. You can kind of what I do is I sort of run into the hallway briefly and get the try and. Uh, get the, the attention of the robots and they'll sometimes come follow you in there and you can just take them out. Let's see if we can get an assault on that. There's the guy there. Let's see if we can convince him to come after me. So if you get him at the top of the steps here, yeah, he generally won't do too much damage to you. Because he can't actually target you too much. But once he's down here yeah, at the bottom, so let's see if we can get him go back up here. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's not as um, maneuverable, if you will, on the steps. Once he's on the steps, he's trying to turn, get to get into the right position. These steps kind of confuse him a little bit. But anyway, hope you found that helpful. If you did, hit the like button. Uh, you know, you do need an unarmed weapon. Like I said, I I, I recommend the Unstoppable Monster. Uh, let, me, let me show you quickly if I can without getting killed. Yeah, so if we look at some of the... Legendary effects, yeah, take 40% less damage while power attacking, 40% more power attack damage, and damage increases as health increases, as health decreases, right? So, like I said, it's, it's really, it's, it's, it's sort of like a bloodied weapon, right? So, uh, so as you as you get weaker, you, the weapon gets stronger, and you can take them out quicker, right? So in this case, for this, this challenge, you, you probably want to stay at least half radiated, if not a little bit more. Uh, depending on what you 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 can handle in your terms of your health, um, and then yeah, just take them out one at a time. But yeah, very tedious in terms of you know killing a thousand robots um, in one setting there, right? Um, 
And you'll notice once you've actually completed that one, a final challenge will unlock, which is destroy robots, no weapons, equipped, right? So just unequip all weapons and unequip your grenades. And then you can actually do that one at the top door, um, fairly AFK as well, or just run around with the paint train in power armor, right? And just remember to put Tesla coils on your power armor if you are doing any power armor. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found that.